Erosion is one of the most environmentally destructive processes. Here we're looking at a hillside behind Aksum in northern Ethiopia. The top of the hill is still green with soil cover and there are a few trees near the base as well. Walking up the street towards the hillside we see very few plants. What we do see are stumps of eucalyptuses which have been cut for firewood and then grazed. And we also see an invasive alien species, Argamini mexicana, a poppy, which is one of the very few goat-proof plants. The pressure of the population in this area means that most of the trees have been cut for firewood and many of the plants have been grazed to feed the goats and other animals. There's fortunately a major erosion control program with planting up the hillsides and exclusion of animals and firewood collection. There are water tanks placed near the base. There are 25 litre containers which used to hold palm oil imported from Indonesia which are being used to carry water up the hillsides to irrigate the new plantings. While nobody can envy these women carrying the 25 kilo water containers up the mountain, in a country with 46% unemployment, perhaps this is useful labour for which they can be paid. There are rudimentary terraces which have been made, and then these have been planted, sometimes with eucalyptus, but often with another Australian native plant, Grevillea robusta. Grevillea robusta is the largest species in the Proteaceae, normally known for its bottle brush type of flowers, and it grows very quickly up to 35 meters in height. The spreading roots will stabilize what soil is left and eventually accumulate more soil, one hopes, to cover the stones which have become exposed through the erosion. The water is being tipped onto the newly planted grevilleas to establish them rapidly. From 400 BC for nearly one and a half millennia, Aksum was a powerful center and the capital of the Aksumite kingdom. Among the reasons quoted for the fall of the empire after one and a half millennia was environmental degradation caused by over-exploitation and overuse of the natural resources, along with climate change. All of these are clearly things that are affecting the environment nowadays in Axum, and hopefully the erosion control and reforestation seen in this video will enable the current Axum to increase its prosperity in the next few years.